Hello everyone and welcome back to Comic Vantage. So today's video is actually a little surprising. This one is actually brought to us by our friends at Slab Pro. Yes, that Slab Pro. If anyone who's been around for a while on my videos has watched a few months back, I bought some of their products, did a review, and I pretty much trashed them. Um, did not like anything. Well, a few weeks ago, actually maybe, I don't know, three, four weeks ago, I was actually contacted by Slab Pro. They actually watched my video and they wanted to explain themselves, which I gotta say is really awesome for a company. Um, now the, they did explain that yes, the protectors, here I'm gonna pull out my little CGC comic here, that the protector that goes onto this, I actually still have it on here does have to be cut down because CGC did change their slabs, uh, which is pretty much what I had theorized back then. But my biggest complaint was is that, hey, you're spending money on this thing, why do you have to cut this down? Uh, and I don't think they have any plans on fixing that. So that still is a downside for this. When I spend money for it, I should expect it to just pop on here. The biggest thing they wanted to talk about though was the corner protector. And they went on to inform me that, yes, for the larger size CGC books like this, you will need, now need the giant size corner protectors. At the time when I bought the, the corner protector, or the edge protector, I did not know this because it didn't say it anywhere on their website. But they have since gone through and they've actually fixed it. And they now state on their website that any CGC comics that were slabbed before uh, April of 2016 will require the normal size uh, Slab Pro corner protector and anything over that, which is what this is, will require the giant size. And they actually have both those listed on their site and they have them clearly marked, which I think is awesome for a company to do. They actually watched my video and fixed it. They fixed it, which was really, really cool. And what they did was is they went and they sent me a few products to do a review on. So that's why I'm here. So let's see how this turns out. Here is the bag of stuff that they sent me. Nice big bag. I'm feeling it's going to be more than just... Well, they did send one extra new product that they're carrying that they wanted me to review, so we will check that out as well. Alright, let's see what we got in here. We got a bunch of other envelopes. First up, let's see what this is. What the hell are you? Oh, they sent me a comic book. Okay. From Ominous Press, the world premiere preview issue. Featuring short stories, introducing three new series for Ominous Press. Okay, that's kind of interesting and cool at the same time. Huh. Let me crack this open. Same when this thing actually came out. Yeah, I knew that kind of looked familiar. Totally. It's Bart Sears artwork. I had a feeling Ominous was his old company, and I guess he's restarting it. And this is from June 2016. Good for you, Bart Sears. That makes two things now that Bart Sears has sent from Slab Pro. First we have the comic book, and this other thing was the last one we did on Slab Pro where they sent the signed print from Bart Sears. Hmm, cool, okay, that's neat. Let's pop that over there. Alrighty. What else do we have in here? What is this? <laughs> oh, they sent me more screen protectors. And still, you know, I can't say I blame them for this. Yes, they are still going to work. All you have to do is cut them down to fit. Not everybody is going to have a paper cutter like I do to make it fit perfectly. I made this thing fit like a glove. You can't even tell it's on here. Um, they probably bought a ton of these not knowing CGC was going to change up their slabs. So if you still, if you do want to UV protect the front of your comic, these are a good way to go. You just got to be careful on how you cut them. So I'm not going to 
through that again because I redid it last video. Alright, and then oh, we got a little business card from Ominous Press there. And here is the new giant size 2016 CGC cases. Alright, let's crack this open. sent me a blue one. Protect and enhance your grid of comic books. So yeah, this is cool. Alright. I mean, first off, right away I can tell this thing is a lot bigger than the last one. So let's see how it fits. Make sure you put the slot up top so that way you can see your name and grade if you have it in a CGC box. All right. Okay, Slab Pro. Perfect fit. Absolutely perfect. Fits like a glove. Snaps on properly like it's supposed to. No weird bulging like the last one did. So I got to give you kudos for fixing this. This is awesome. Good job. All right, let's see. They sent me one other product that they wanted me to do a review on. This I was actually really excited for. Wow, these things are heavy. These are see-through, completely clear backboards for your comic books. So what do they call this? They call these the X-Ray Vision. So let me grab a comic and let's pop these on and see how they fit. Okay, so I went and I grabbed one of my favorite comics that I've ever owned, and that is a Gen X number one. I love this chromium cover. I love the Chris Pacello artwork. I actually got it signed here by Scott Lobdell. And this chromium cover. Man, back in the 90s they knew how to do covers. Because you just don't see chromium covers anymore. I mean, look at this thing. Shiny. Beautiful. It's a layer of plastic with embossed silver sheet underneath. It's so cool. Anyway, I'd love to show off the front and back of this issue. So, let's check these out and see how this works. Now, these clear protectors can get a little pricey. If I'm not mistaken, it's uh, $6 for a three-pack, which is about two bucks a piece. Or you can get uh, singles or a 10 pack for ten dollars which makes them a buck a piece which is a whole lot better all right what do we got oh, it looks like they actually have protectors on them so that's actually kind of nice there's my bag and board that I already have let's pull the bag out of you know what I think my bag is gonna be too small uh huh, see how this could be an issue. Did they send me Silver Age by accident? Because this is a modern bag, and these are supposed to be modern boards. Alright, let's see what it says in the back here. Slab Pro, yep, they sent me Silver Age. Lucky for them, my local comic book store loves to pack all of their comics in Silver Age bags and boards. So let me look around and see if I can't find one. There we go. See that? Nice little gap right there. They like to do this because they like to double bag or uh, double board their comics, which is actually kind of neat. All right, so we'll take this and we'll put it over here into this one. And now we have Silver Age Bag. Okay, so it looks like we have to peel off some protections. Awesome. And the back. Wow, that's pretty. Man, you can't even see it. Okay, and come on, we can do this. Now, 
if a Silver Age board doesn't fit in a Silver Age bag, I don't know where it's going to fit. Ooh, that is a tight fit. So, let's see if I can't get that down in there. Alright, so I am going to wrestle with this. I don't want to make you guys watch. I will be back. Okay, so I actually had to go and hunt down a different board or a bag. Completely different because this one, the one I had pre uh, previously, would not work. Anyway, at least I got that to fit. Here's my comic book. Let's go ahead and pop it on in here. Wow, that thing is really sturdy. It actually, it's a whole lot more sturdy than a normal comic book bag or board. And there's the back. It truly is completely clear. You can see right through it. That's awesome. And it's still really well protected. You can actually put one of these on the front and the back and have your comic book insanely protected. It's almost like having a top loader. It, these plastic is easily as thick as a top loader, front and back. So, wow, yeah, that is really awesome. I'm actually very happy with that. I'm bummed out they didn't send me the size that I requested. I did request modern, but uh, I am really happy with the way this turned out. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, like I said, uh, if you buy a 10-pack, you do get them at a dollar a piece, which is a little steep when you think about it, but when you think about what you're getting and that protection on here, it is really cool. Now, you might only want to do this on your most expensive board or uh, comics or the comics that mean the most to you. Um, the thing is, though, is I mean, a lot of times if you're going to do this, you're just going to buy a top loader anyway. Uh, top loaders really only run, what, maybe a buck fifty, two bucks a piece, which is on par with just the backboard. It's a really cool idea. I do really like it. But, yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to end up using the three they sent me, but for everything else, I'm just going to go top loader, which works out really well a lot of times. Although you need, do need to buy special boxes and stuff to put your top loaders in because they're a little thicker. So this will fit in a standard size box. So both have their ups and downs. They both have their places and I will probably use both now that I think about it. Very, very cool. Anyway, really happy with that. So to recap, we still have the giant screen protectors which are a meh. We have really cool clear backing boards, which, huge thumbs up, I really like these things, they're really neat. And last but not least, the new giant size slab. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. This totally is worth it. This is awesome. I like it a lot. So, yeah, we have two thumbs up, one mediocre. So, I mean, I think uh, Slab Pro has redeemed themselves this time around. So hey, thumbs up to you Slab Pro. Really happy you actually listened to your customers. I can't believe you actually watched my video and saw my problems and uh, addressed them, which is really, really cool of you. I do appreciate that. And I will put links down below to all this stuff so everybody can go and purchase it themselves. I, this is going to be very, very cool. I'm glad it's fixed and it's awesome. I might end up buying a few more of these myself for my other CGC comics, because this is really cool. And yes, this is a special edition Suicide Squad number seven. Signed by Jim Lee. Signature series, exclusive to Torpedo Comics. It's one of those retailer covers that they have printed up just for the store, so that was cool. Anyway, um, that's my review on this new Slab Pro stuff. And uh, to my returning viewers, thank you for watching. Welcome back, and to anybody new watching this, because my last Slab Pro video has, it's probably one of my highest viewed videos, so I'm sure a lot of those people are going to come back and re-watch this, so to all my new viewers, thank you for watching, make sure you subscribe, I do all kinds of stuff like this, and uh, make sure you give me some likes and hit that share, I want everybody to share this all across the place, so like always, thanks for watching, and take it easy.